Good morning, YouTubers. East New York's finest, hosted by yours truly, Mike. What's going on? So, it's been a, a interesting couple of months, more than a couple. It's like ever since I got that F one fifty, I've been really, really hauling ass. I've been doing a lot of work, a lot of stuff. Um, <clears throat> then, of course, over a week ago, I purchased. Well, more than a week ago, about two weeks ago, I purchased uh, a GT uh, five point oh. Mustang, beautiful white and blue, and I've been doing things to that, get it out the way now, so I don't have to dwell on it later, <coughs> uh, I haven't been thrifting that much, every time I go is just, to me, trash, so I very rarely go, uh, and if I do go, I'm there maybe, maybe an hour, and as soon as I get there, excuse me, I'm already, I'm already ready to leave. Uh, so I haven't been doing much of that. Um, I've been I've, I've been getting stuff here and there to, to show me and fam Eric and Alex uh, went to the GI Joe Cherry Hill show. I got some stuff. I came back with a lot of well, I came back with with decent quantity but crazy quality. What I mean by that is the stuff that I needed and you know quality. I mean quantity as far as it was a nice amount of shit, but it wasn't crazy. Like, you know, it was like maybe 10 or 12 or so items versus 20 or 25 items. But it was shit that I needed. Um, and, you know, it's ironic because fam, you know, fam Eric, this motherfucker been fiending since the day, since the day we got in the car and he was driving us back home. He was already fucking fiending for them boxes. Like, come on, baby, when the boxes at, man? When they gonna come back, bro? Yo, like, come on, baby. I need this, man. Come on, baby. <laughs> But I, I'm, I was right behind him, so, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, fam Alex, he's into the, you know, he's into his thing. Like, you know, he supports his brother when it comes to G.I. Joe's and stuff, and that's fucking beautiful. Uh, outside of that, <clears throat> you know, he he's into a whole nother monster, you know. he It's like he took, I don't like, I don't want to tell his story, because it's not my story to tell. Whenever, when they, when he's ready, he'll, he'll do that. So I'll just say his madness is madness. It's dope. That's all I'm. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, then from there, I did. Uh, obviously, you guys know the drama I had with Eric, the guy who did the the, the toy promote the, the the toy promoter from Woodbridge. Um, so at that time, let me tell you, putting water in a jar like this don't taste too good. <laughs> um. I'm not gonna really dwell on it, but I can say I've done I've done really good. I think I've done like eight shows, maybe even nine, but I know it was at least eight. Uh, the last show there was an issue because a month before that, I don't like people to bicker and bitch and moan and act like you know I, I don't do that. And I already saw where that was going, and I see how he treats um, customers along with other vendors. But you know the bur the uh, Baracus the the bureaucracy. The Biriaka, you know what I'm saying? The bigger tree. Jesus Christ, I can't fucking speak. Uh, it, it's crazy. The hypocrisy is crazy. So I'm not going to do all that anymore. I just don't do his shows no more. And now I think about it, I may not even go. Um, I did see some of the guys that sell there, and, you know, we were talking, and some people did ask me, hey, what happened? Or oh, I heard this, and I heard that through the grapevine. I'm like, how'd you hear this, or how'd you hear that? I had my suspicions. Like, for instance, yesterday, somebody decided to steal my uh, my back plate. Somebody stole the, black, the back plate off the back of my truck and left the, uh, the plate holder. Not realizing that, you know, those are specialized plates uh, for specific people. And if whoever, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, like, um, somebody's going to send me the video um, in the next couple of days of that whole area between nine and <coughs> and two and two o'clock, which is around the time I got out there. So if I see anybody, I mean, I already know what people. Whatever it doesn't. I'm not gonna dwell on that. It is what it is. I gotta go to DMV this morning and uh, take the uh, what do you call that number? The the uh, the incident report number and see if I can get new plates. And it shouldn't shouldn't cost me anything because they were stolen. So I gotta do that first thing in the morning and then I got some other errands and stuff to run. Um, outside of that, 
you know, I finally introduced um, Fam Eric and Eddie, my boy, uh, face to face. So they hit it off, and they they, they both uh, were happy with the deal that they did. Again, that's Fam Eric's story, so I'm not gonna tell it. Uh, I'm not gonna even really go into no detail on what he got and what Eddie got, and vice versa. Because again, it's not my stuff. It's not my story. Um, but you know, it was cool. They got they, you know, they both you know was happy with the deal that they that they both made. <sighs> um, and what I got from Eddie was about a couple of days, I think that Monday before, because I think they, I think I went back there Wednesday. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and I paid for this stuff. And he was gonna list it, and I was like, "Listen, I'll take them all." So I basically got the whole collection of visionaries. Only thing I'm missing is four vehicles to complete them because it was I think it was eight fi eight single figures for the whole line and then you have four figures that came with the vehicles and I even have those figures. So and these are all complete. Some do have some do come with a stand. Very few come with their cards but we have here um more dread with bonus stand oh, okay it stands right there in my face so you got him oh let me move that then one that did come with the uh he's a basic one he he's like probably one of the cheapest ones because i i see him all the time even though most of them don't have that that little cap thing on the front of them but you know this is um with a quick as you see here He's the most common one. I see him all the time. Not always in great condition, not always in bad condition, but I do come across him a lot. Him and the one with the purple. So that would be number two. Then we have here, um, Arzon Complete. Oh, Ar Arzon. I saw I put Arzon Complete. So he is fully complete with uh, his file card as well. That will make him number three. Then number four, we have Feral with bonus stand. And huh. then we have Luric with bonus stand. Damn, I already lost count. I think that's I think that's number five, right? One, two. Three, four, yeah. So I'm sorry. So that's number five. Number six would be Cravix, also complete with bonus stand. So he would be number six. Then number seven would be Lexar with with bonus stand and uh, his file card. Yes, yeah, number seven. And then number eight would be Sindar with bonus stand. And then number nine would be Raycon Raycon. Number ten would be dark storm with bonus stand and card oh, as you see him here and number 11 would be cryotech <clears throat> and number 12 and and last it's always a purple one in here well whatever it doesn't matter uh, he also comes with his um, you got Ektar he comes with the stand and his uh, card thing so I paid for these guys um, they cost me and that probably just cost me so we got all these what did I pay for them he gave me a good discount 
I paid about seven, just a little shy over seven hundred. Just a little shy over seven for them. Uh, it was a family discount. That's the only reason why I got it for that price. You know, Eddie hooks me up. You know what I'm saying? I knew him for a long time, and you know, but that, that don't mean that you miss business with pleasure because we, we don't, but he still get discounts. I mean, a whole collection of visionaries for just under 800 bucks, can't go wrong. I mean, all only thing missing is the, uh, yeah, only thing missing is uh, four vehicles. I don't, I don't know what the vehicle's going to cost me, but come on. Can't beat that. Um, so outside of that, what did I pick up? Uh, I didn't pick up anything thrifting, really, that was important. Um, uh, Saturday, I didn't pick up anything at the show. Saturday, the weather was just as nasty as the sales I just barely made my tables back um, actually I was a little short of making it I mean I already had the money but I, I didn't really make the uh, the tables on Saturday because of the you know I just thought you know whatever but people are right it was definitely it was definitely the weather definitely the weather because yesterday, ironically, was a fucking great day. Uh, I mean, it snuck up. It, it did have a lot. I mean, it wasn't nowhere near half the people that were there on Saturday. Even though Saturday was raining. But people that did come out on Sunday, they did buy. You know, they, people were walking out with bins and bags of shit. Everybody. I don't think I've seen nobody walking, at least by me, going or coming empty-handed. And I mean everybody. From fucking women to children with in strollers to men to grandmothers, to grandfathers, uncles, cousins, guys who are dating girls who are just trying to impress their kid. I mean, every fucking body was by. I had a couple of decent spenders that uh, that brought some shit off me, and I was cool with that. Um, you know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, so I made some. I made one. The one deal I did make on Friday was with the guy from Staten Island, um, Josh. I fucking finally remember his name. Real cool guy. Um, the last show, I was doing security for them, and I didn't have a spot. So I made a deal with him on, I think, the uh, the, the, the G.I. Joe Dino Hunter Jeep. I think it was like one or two other um, pieces that were, I think, either... I don't think it was Tiger Force. I think one was... I think... I don't remember. I don't remember, but I know I needed it. Uh, I think one was probably a night force vehicle and something else I can't recall, but it was dope shit. So first thing I saw was the uh, the Dreadnought um, Air Assault, uh, like the uh, the Skyhawk version of it, because they have the uh, Fang and that and they have that one, because the ground assault comes with the Jeep and I think a motorcycle. I know I always promised and said to myself that I wasn't going to get that kind of the specialty stuff unless it was complete. I didn't care about price. Yesterday, I was looking for Wonder Bread He-Man. Every time I did, I, I see, I mean, at these shows, two people always have the Wonder Bread He-Man. At least two at this show. Every time I walk around doing security. This time, I'm comfortable. I wasn't doing security because they didn't need an extra person. And I was selling, and not one person had a Wonder Bread He-Man there, which is like, and I had the bread for it. So that's just ironic how every show um, they've done at Parsippany, somebody always had one, and this particular time nobody did. I mean, it was always two, always two, just like there was always two to three um, Fortress Maximus. The one guy brought these Transformers from, he had the Fortress Ma Maximus. But he wanted nine fifty for it, and I wasn't paying nine hundred fifty dollars for that shit. Um, he's a little, he's pricey. A lot of people complain about his prices, but I'm like, you know, sometimes you can't really complain about people's prices because one, you don't know where they got it from, what they paid for it, and it's their shit. You don't like a price, shut the fuck up and move on. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. I mean, I think sometimes some, some people, I'm like, yo, that this nigga prices are crazy. But that's between me. I'm not going to sit there and bitch and moan all day. Like, everybody was bitching and moaning about Saturday. I include myself. I mean, it was, it, you know, some people said they did good. I just had, and I just so happened to not be one of them. Uh, but a lot of people were complaining. Then one guy was complaining um, about Sunday. And this one guy, Mike, I just think he, he's just nice guy. I know him from New York City Comic Con. And he's like, I only sold three items. 
I'm like, why the fuck you complain? He always he does he always does these shows, and then he bitches to complain about it. So you set yourself up for failure because it's like, why would you keep doing a fucking show if it's shitty? I stopped dealing with a show because a guy and his family was shitty, and it was only a matter of time before I got it got physical. So I decided to, to save myself the aggravation and let him know that I don't need you or your show. I'm not doing your shows no more, and that's it. And I wipe, I wipe my hands with it. I won't, I won't even sell that motherfucker. I won't sell that motherfucker a ten cent, a ten cent bubble gum. So I'm done with him. That's a chapter of my life that is pushed aside. Pushed aside. Sometimes that's the best way to get back at people and smack them in the face. Whether whether they they fill their tables or not, is to let them know that yo, dude, I come here because I choose to. I don't come here because I have to or I need you. Because a lot of these people they they run around like, oh yeah, you need me. Because, like, yeah, I've been doing this since I was 16 years old. I don't give a fuck. I was doing a lot more dangerous, crazy shit when I was 16 years old. So, what the fuck I give a fuck? You know, then you should know better, too. Because you're a fucking hypocrite. But, anyhow, going back to this stuff. So, so let me show you guys what I got. So, I made a deal with that dude, Josh. And I wound up buying something, two other things from him. Uh, One thing, it's not really obscure. It's not really hard, but I was like, you know what, fuck it. If I, you know, I know his did have the complete stickers on it, and I knew I was missing parts. And he said it's complete, and I realized I gotta give him a call and let him know it's not complete because it's still missing the big black tube that runs from the cannon, the cannon to something else. And I meant to ask him about that. <laughs> Excuse me. So I gotta let him know that it's not complete, but it still has a lot more than the stuff that mines have. And I don't, I don't need two of them, and I don't need to get other stuff for another one. You know what I mean? So I just decided to get, you know, to, to pay for this uh, because these missiles are around twenty-five plus dollars each. I know that because I've been looking for it for a minute. So let me show you guys that. I might as well, and I'll show you everything else. Um, so this is mine. If I can grab it without knocking or breaking anything. Without anything fucking falling, if it comes out. All right, so this is mine, and I'm getting to the point where I really need to just start, you know, um, getting this because my GI Joe collection should have been done. There's no reason why this shit shouldn't have been done. With the money I've been spending on other shit, it makes no fucking sense. Other than the fact that I'm just an idiot. Uh, but this is mine. I know I had this, and when I saw his there, I asked him how much. He gave me a price on it, and I was like, that's actually a fair price. But unfortunately, it is missing a tube. Even though he gave me a good deal, he said it was complete. It's not, so I do need to talk to him about that. and be like, yo, dude, it's mi still missing something. It doesn't matter if I got a good deal on it or not. Um, the whole point of the matter is, you know, when you tell somebody something's complete, it should be complete. Uh, probably was an honest mistake, but still in all, a mistake is still a mistake. So here we have this one, as you see, it does have the stickers on it. It does come with the foam Nerf gun type uh, or Nerf type missiles. And uh, he had a hundred on it. I didn't pay a hundred, but regardless, still missing stuff. Um, I didn't even realize that mine had, uh, I had no idea that, you know, mine even had the clips and stuff. I thought, I, I mean, I thought, you know, whatever, but now I'm just missing the holes. So at least I can help, you know, cut this off. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I did pay extra, but whatever. So there you have, there you have it. And mines have the front gun, the missile clips or holders, whatever you want to call them. And it has the rear gun, just like this one does. So pretty pretty badass at least it, you know sometimes you gotta do that sometimes you gotta buy figures and or vehicles just for certain parts because you kind of gain you know what I mean even though I still need the tube so you have that um, oh yeah and I, I ordered this last week and it came I think Wednesday or Thursday um, this I got from Bits and Buttons. Dom is the owner. Um, and if you guys probably like, wait a minute, that sounds familiar. That's because, you know, um, Seth, 
Hot toys, hot toys. You know, um, I met, I met him. Real cool guy. I met them when they came to New York Comic Con for 2022, I believe. Or was it 23? I think it was 22. And um, <clears throat> I wound up getting this specific uh, Iron Man from, from Dom. Because I know him from watching Seth's channel down in Florida with Hump, Humpty with two M's and everybody else. Diamond Dave and everybody else. So I did get this from Dom. Um, brand new, I believe it was brand new. Got a good deal on it, so I took it. This particular um, Mark II or Mark III hologram, I don't even know which one this is, um, Iron Man, but I liked it. And the only Iron Mans I collect are die cast. So I only collect the die cast Iron Man stuff. If it's not die cast, I don't want it. Um, as far as Iron Man goes. So. And I didn't realize it was even him until after I, I was looking at um, the shipping times. And knock on wood, boom. So this is complete. I decided to get this because, you know, it is harder and harder to come across. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I, I got to look at the, uh, the listing and stuff to see because this is actually broken, the actual canopy. So I gotta look and see if it says that or not, um, especially for what I paid for it. So worst case scenario, I'll reach out to him only if and after I look at the description. And then here you got the uh, two torpedoes that go on the bottom and you have the actual engine cover. Um, and I pay like about 130 bucks for this. Some of y'all like, what? Well, these things are expensive, you know, Night Force, GI Joe's and Night Force stuff only gets higher, you know what I mean? Like very few. I mean, there's a lot of GI Joe shit that you know you can you can find, you can circulate and find. So I did get that from him. Um, then moving to my boy Lewis, the one that um, he's the reason. I mean, he knows all my Super Seven stuff. So I did wound up getting um, Mongor and Schnarf. I don't know how many are in this wave. I think they call it the Snarf wave, but um, I did get these two from him, finally. I think he had them the last show, but I just, I just didn't buy them because, you know, toy promoter Eric left a nasty taste in my mouth and he pissed me the fuck off, so that distracted me from buying from people. Not intentionally, just that the guy's a, the guy's a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and... Here. Interesting. Don't know where that came from, but whatever. It is a missile for something. Oh, I know what it is for. Me know what this floor for. So this is the piece I did get from Josh as well. So I got three pieces from Josh. Um, that big, whatever the hell this thing is called again. And this I saw when he was setting up on Friday. Um, I can't believe nobody asked him about it, but by the time I were, it, it was really too late. You know, I was like, yo, what do you want for? I was hoping he had the yellow piece too. And he told me that, yeah, it is missing a, the two wing stabilizers and the two missiles and I think the missiles are the color of this I think I thought they were this color but they're red and I was like you know for 200 bucks fuck it you know I have almost two for four pieces of the Sears exclusive dreadnought I have one piece from the ground assault and I have one piece from the air assault so I and, and both of them came from conventions the um the jeep the vamp I got from a dude in uh, at the uh, Woodbridge Toy Show about a year ago, and then of course Friday, I, you know he knew he held it for me. One thing people can say, nobody, you, it don't matter if you like me or not, you can't say I'm not a man of my word. You know, people, you know, it's to the point where people know everybody there. But I'm like, oh, hold that for me to the end of the show, or just hold it. They won't even that most of the time they won't even they don't they won't even come over and stress me out. I'm like, hey. Are you still interested in that or whatever? They know I'm a man of my word. Anybody 
can tell you, you know what I mean? If I say I'm going to buy something, I'm going to buy something. But, you know, this is pretty dope. And I wanted to show this because this is the one I got from Woodbridge. And I didn't even realize that I actually have a lot more shit to this that I didn't even know that I have. I mean, it is missing some stuff. But I, I was like, oh, shit. I didn't, I didn't even realize. I mean, I have two out of four missiles. Um, I'm missing the uh, the roof cover and I'm missing the cage and I think whatever the hell comes in the back of the cage I mean if I get a chance to come across either either or any of these fully complete better but if I have to try to piece these together I'm fine with that too I mean I do have you know what I mean like these things are very 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 obscure to, to get your hands on so yeah and it's ironic considering the fact that you know, fam, Eric made these dope-ass t-shirts, and I actually wore the, uh, the Cobra one, yes, the Cobra one yesterday, or Dreadnought, so to speak, so, this is pretty dope, so, you know, um, Josh gave me a good deal, I paid, uh, 310, so, I got that, this, and this Dragon Boat, that I thought I needed, but I didn't realize. That I, I'll show you guys that. So, I believe there was one black missile. So he had, oh, so he has 60 on this. So, he wound up giving this to me for a deal. So, he has 60 on it, and um, I didn't pay that because I really didn't need this because I figured I did have the Dragon Boat, but um, let me show you something. I have one. Now, my Dragon Boat is missing some missiles, just like this is missing missiles. So now I need more missiles for two Dragon Boats. Good thing about them, is even though the colors are slightly off, oh, shit, yeah. Let me show you. This is the one I got from Josh yesterday, along with the uh, the Sears Dreadnought uh, helicopter I just showed you guys, and this piece. This piece he had a price originally at 180. I knew he wasn't gonna go cheaper on that Dreadnought assault helicopter. I know that for a fact. So I wasn't gonna even ask him. I just said put it aside for me. So 102. That's three. So 300 right there, and then this. So 300. And 60 bucks is 360. So, what he did was he, he knocked money off of stuff. So, I only wound up paying, I, I paid, you know, he gave me a $50 deal, $50 off deal, which I couldn't complain. But I couldn't remember if I needed this or if I needed parts for it. But then, as soon as I brought it, I realized, oh shit, well, it, it is what it is. So let me show you mine. So, I'm actually missing some missiles to complete this one. So this is mine. It's a lighter blue, if you, can, if you guys can see the difference. So there are variations of it. So now I have a variation of the Dragon Bolt. I'm fine with that. Only problem now is I have to get more missiles and stuff. So this one, um, it comes with... This one comes with... Uh, it has both guns. The one I got from him only has one. And this one comes with two missiles. Mine have four. So I'm actually missing two silver missiles to complete mine. And now I'm go I'm missing one, two, three, four. So I'm missing two missiles to complete this. And I'm missing... Oh, I just realized I'm missing a lot more on this shit. So I'm missing a gun... I'm missing both of the uh, depth charges that go on the side because you see that this one has uh, the silver ones right here, these silver things. Mines don't. So I'm missing uh, the two silver things. I'm missing the left gun. And I'm missing four of those torpedo type missiles. I think it's four. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do more research on this. But whatever. Either way. It is what it is. And I did buy, I mean, wow. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. And, I, and yesterday I was I was into the book. I didn't do it Saturday, which would have been a better day. But I was so frustrated and tired that I didn't do it. 
but um, I should have. But I, I have been, you know, checking off stuff that I have extras of from that crappy G.I. Joe book into one of the other um, books that I decided to use to make sure I know what I have and what I need and this and that because that will be a lot better. Um, I don't know where the hell my little book is. So that's the stuff I got from Josh. Uh, that's the stuff I got. I didn't get much. I only think I think I only brought from three vendors. Josh, Lewis, and um, the white dude in the corner that everybody claimed that his prices are crazy. Listen, it is what it is. So with that basically being said, um, yeah. So with Lewis, I spent a hundred and ten. He knocked off ten bucks on a on a two Super Seven Thundercats. And with this guy here, we did three ten, and with Josh, we did three ten. So three ten and three ten is six twenty. Six twenty and one ten is seven thirty. So I paid one hundred and seventy. I mean, I paid seven hundred and thirty dollars um, for the show. Even even on Saturday, people were like, "Yo, wow, you must not have did good because you know I ain't see you buy nothing." I said, well, I didn't do good in the show, but it, that has nothing to do with what I spent or what or what I didn't spend. I don't buy like I used to, and if I'm going to buy in a toy show, it's got to be stuff that I specifically need for myself. Unless somebody is selling a huge, crazy collection of shit, and they just basically trying to get rid of it, I'm not buying. So anyhow, this is the other 310. He wanted $35 each for these little guys, and this is 175 so you figure 35 and 35 is 70, 70 and 70 is 140, 140 and 35 is 205. So 205 here and 175. So you add the 100 to the 105, that'll be 205. And then, yeah, so 380 bucks is what, because you see he has this price at 175. I'm praying to the Lord that I don't have this one. If I do, I at least pray to the Lord that I need this particular piece. There's a good chance I probably have this one and don't realize it. Um, let me look in this book real quick since I'm here with you guys. So this way, you, the one people that the haters and the people that hate me can laugh and be like, ha 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 ha. I'm glad you. I'm glad you paid extra, nigga. I'm glad you paid extra, you piece of shit, and you got it. So let's let's see. I like to be straightforward with motherfuckers, man. I don't give a shit. I mean, yeah. I mean, I wasted a lot more money on shit that I had, you know. And I'm like, oh shit, I had that. No, that's not that one. I was about to get. Ex oh, thank God I didn't, cause I have him. Snapdragon. See, the problem is every toy company does the same fucking mold. Just about, so sometimes it's very easy for a guy like me to get confused. Because I'm, I'm an idiot, you know. And I know, what you, I know what some of you probably out there saying, Oh, I'm glad you fucking finally said it. I've been telling people that about you for the longest. Some people might say, damn, bro, you sound real cliche. Hmm, Spike is barking for some reason. He, the dog never barks. Unless something is off. Everybody's like, wow, you got a real nice dog. Yeah, he's a pit bull. Does he bite? I say all animals bite, even insects. So so that's why I really don't like people petting him. If he runs up to them and he starts, he, he if, if, I already know his his his, uh, his attitude. So if he like kind of like comes towards you and he puts his head down to like go to smell like your, like the ground or the, or your feet around you, then I know he's okay. And I have it. Fuck. And I have it complete. Damn. I'm looking right at it. Yep, yep, yep. This is Dreadwing. Dreadwing. So I did have him. And I was saying that shit too. I was like, yo, it'd be funny if I fucking have this guy. And I do have him. So I just wasted almost 200 bucks on a piece that I already have. So, it looks like I'm going to have a fucking extra one. Because he's right here. Power Master Air Defense. With his guns. 
Well, that answers that, doesn't it? And this is why I, I really try to be very careful. But sometimes I try to, you know, I just try to be real slick to myself and be like, oh, I don't think I have that one. And that's what happens when you think you don't have something that you have and you wind up putting your fucking foot in your mouth. Because this could have saved me extra money. Technically, it's like I paid $95 for this either way. Because he gave me everything for $310. Because again, um, was it seventy? Was it um, thirty-five dollars each for these? So you figure thirty-five and thirty-five is seventy. Seventy and seventy is uh, one forty. One forty and thirty-five is one seventy-five. Right? No, did I say right? Seventy, seventy, one forty. Yeah, one seventy-five and one seventy-five. So I I I counted wrong. So one seventy five and a hundred is two seventy five. So three twenty five. So he he knocked off fifteen bucks. So yeah, whatever. Then I came home, and if that's not enough, I looked in my closet where I keep my transformers, and guess what I found? I thought I had less of these than the white and blue ones, and voila, I got these three guys and one of, one of these is definitely an Autobot and I think this one maybe the maybe Decepticon but you can't tell with the, the paint rub or whatever and look what and you, again you guys see what I got here so I wasted money yesterday I did something I normally don't like to do so let's see whoop and one falls out and again his prices are high you know his prices are definitely high I'm not going to sit here and say it's not, but it is. So, looks like I have two of the Autobot little Jeeps here. So, there's two of those. And let's see which one this one is. It'll be funny if this is... So this looks like another Autobot. Yep, another Autobot. So three Autobots already. Now he could have, he should have told me that some of these are what's it calls, but it's not his job, right? So here we have another Autobot, but I need this little car. And that's an Autobot, and this one don't have a sticker on it. So, for the fucking price he asking, it should have had a sticker. This is an Autobot too. So, two Autobots. Yeah. So, I definitely wasted money yesterday. I definitely screwed myself over on uh, this guy. The stuff from Josh was copacetic. This dude, I fucked myself over. Um, it is what it is. So, yeah. You know, he could have, he should have told me that some of these are duplicates, but I should have looked. You know, it's, it's my fault at the end of the day. It's not his fault. Because it's not like, you know, he, it's not like he knew what the fuck I was going to do with this stuff. So, it is my fault. Um,. And yeah, well, anyway, that's it, y'all. Ain't nothing else to come talk about. Everything else I got is not really worth talking about or showing, or at least not in my eyes. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably go through these and look at them more and see what's what. And after that, I'll probably just hang my fucking self because I just wasted almost $300 yesterday on shit I didn't have to buy. And this didn't even remotely look familiar. Uh, but I was like, you know, it'll be funny. And I was just, you know, wishfully thinking it would be funny if I, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to go into these details. Anyway, peace. Gotta go. Bye.